just got back from uh, camping this weekend and this box was sitting on my porch and uh, have a weird feeling I know what it is so instead of me opening it and just showing you guys I figured I did um, get you in on the excitement here almost like thing here and open this up like I said this is the first time I've opened this so uh, it could be nothing and if it's nothing then you're not going to get this see this video so I guess I'm okay all right so let me just pull that out of there don't know what that is I'm not sure what that is but let me pull this out and guess what it is what I thought it was going to be um, guys look at this and we got ourselves that so for the guys that were at East Coast Scale Challenge it's obvious that you know now what this is because some of you have seen it but for everybody else this is probably the first time you're seeing it um, live so this here is the new RC four-wheel drive 10th scale V8 uh, engine and the matching transmission single speed uh, R4 transmission so I'm trying to figure out which one I want to open up first I think I'm going to open up the, uh, the block first because that's usually what you get first and then from there we'll go to the tranny so uh, everybody knows from the discussions that this is designed to hold a 540 can motor or equivalent um, it's not something that is going to be you know you're going to have to trial anything other than a 540 can uh, if you're doing a uh, brushless motor you know you're just going to have to try it and see it's going to be trial and error but um, just want to give you a little view of what it looks like in the box and we'll pull it out here and see what we got all right guys here it is here is the block you can see the scale uh, oil pan valve covers as an actual intake that you can um, that you can remove got an air cleaner that you can remove valve covers that you can remove um, actually you got a timing belt here too so um, it's pretty slick uh, your motor goes inside here comes out here and I'm guessing I haven't seen it yet but I'm guessing that the pinion sticks out here and then the tranny goes onto there so um, we got that so far let's uh, see what the next thing is This is one of those things that I'm really excited about because I, you know, I always wanted a fracture motor, but I never really knew what I'd put it in because um, it was extremely detailed, but it was a little big. So when I saw this for the first time, I thought this is something that uh, I could really work into a build. So here it is. Here is the tranny. Now, if you look at this thing. I mean, you can't get any closer to looking like a tranny. I mean, that's that's amazing. And then I, this here then mounts onto here like that, and now you've got the whole spiel. Excuse the mess on my workbench. I have been gone, still haven't recovered from East Coast Scale Challenge, but um, haven't been able to put anything away. But I uh, saw this and I figured you guys are going to have to deal with the mess on my thing. So next is the Trail Finder 2 mounting kit for it. These are the engine mounts. Now I've never seen this, so this is going to be new to me. Um, and it's going to be, you know, working out how to do, how to mount it up. 
it looks like here is a offset skid plate. And it's an offset skid plate to push the um, transfer case back. You've also got what it looks like here is a shorter drive shaft space. So you have a solid shaft between the transfer case and the tranny. And then you've got some various screws. And these, I'm guessing, are the motor mounts. We'll have to see what this is for. I'm not sure what the... Uh, the link is for, but we'll find out when we get to it.